The Acropolis, back on the calendar last year, a new experience for many crews, including Kai Rovampera, making light of the challenge to post his second career victory on the rough roads. An impressive win at that. The young Finn blasting through the end of Rally Power Stage quickest to clinch maximum points, winning the event by more than 40 seconds. I think uh, first time in Greece was quite interesting. Uh, I'm a bit new style of roads. Uh, of course, everything was new for us. It was quite a tricky weekend, to be honest. Um, Friday was a bit more proper Greece style, um, dry weather, a bit more rough condition. And then uh, Saturday and Sunday, when we went up to the mountains again, um, there was some rain um, during the week, uh, difficult conditions, a lot of mud, changeable grip. Overall, quite a tricky rally. It was a bit more Wales condition last year than, than normal Greece. Runner-up to Robin Perra last year, Oik Tanak. The pair one and two in the championship standings, heading for the Acropolis 12 months on. Tanak on a roll, those back-to-back -back wins on the smooth gravel of Finland, then asphalt of Ypres. Greece, by contrast, will be much rougher, but not as bumpy a ride as it used to be, if last year is anything to go by. Actually, the stages were maybe much smoother than expected. Greece didn't seem to be as, as rough uh, as it used to be. Uh, also last year, you know, the weather was not really what we expect from Greece. Uh, it was actually quite humid and, and wet at the time, so... Let's see this, this time when we go what the weather will be, but uh, normally it was actually very nice and, and uh, rather smooth, really. We were all a little bit surprised of how easy it was uh, last year, which is obviously Acropolis isn't easy, but from what it used to be, destroying cars, it certainly wasn't anything like that. So uh, it was very much a rally of flat out from, from start to finish. Um, one thing we did have was some particularly bad weather. I remember, I remember being in Athens and it was 28, 29, and then going up to the mountains and it was two degrees. So a uh, big change in, in climate throughout the rally, which was, which was very interesting. It's, uh, yeah, uh, end of summer, but still a very hot event, tough conditions. In condition-wise, it's very similar to a Sardinia rally. The grip can be quite high, um, can be quite rough in some stages. We had a good mix of fast and slow stages last year, so that was quite interesting. And other than that, yeah, it's a rally you need to survive. Greece is always one of those challenging events, you know, looking after the, the tyre is normally a, a bit of a discussion there. Uh, it's quite abrasive normally, quite, uh, quite rocky, hard for the cars. So, uh, yeah, always, uh, always a challenging weekend. A challenging weekend which will start this year at the Olympic Stadium in Athens, hosting the opening stage on Thursday evening. Big crowds expected, just as there were when the rally got underway in the stadium back in 2005. Tremendous atmosphere, eagerly anticipated by fans and crews alike. I think it's one of the most iconic uh, uh, videos from over the years was obviously the, the World Championship uh, event been inside in the Olympic Stadium and, and the cars racing uh, you know, head to head with each other. So it's great that we get to go back there again. Uh, looking forward to, to, to taking it all in. WRC Plus, all live.